Dozens of businesses in the North County are coming together to help the homeless. One of the biggest challenges is giving people in need a safe place to bathe. New at 530, our tennis reporter Mackenzie Maynard reveals how the businesses are using art and coffee to fund a solution. Inside Stay Golden, you'll find walls decorated with plants and neon signs, but recently there's been a new addition. This is Joel, and I met him in October of 2018. 19 portraits of homeless individuals in Oceanside. This is him now. The last decade, Jordan Verdeen has spent time taking these photos and telling the stories that go along with them. He says these small gestures help give them dignity. Being seen and being heard but sometimes they might not want to be seen because they, some, they feel embarrassed of how they look. And so what we want to do is provide something that will eliminate that barrier. And because of that, he's been working on another project, one he shared with coffee shop owner Jeanette Lindborn. I was so taken back. I thought, oh my gosh, how can I get involved? This is amazing. Together, they're working to raise money for a mobile shower trailer. Similar to this one, it'll have two sides, each with a bathroom and a shower. Something as simple as a shower and a haircut and just makes them feel human again. So far, people and businesses from across the North County have already donated nearly $5,000. I used to didn't think that people really didn't care, but I was surprised to find out how many people really do care and how many people do want to get involved. A simple part of our daily routine could make a pretty big impact on someone else. These are all people that need help, and if we have the resources to help them, then it's our obligation to help. Mackenzie Maynard, Den News. And a couple of outreach programs in the North County have already asked to partner with the mobile shower trailer. There is some hope that they have uh, have this set up with their parking lots once a week.